Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? Um, so, today I want to talk about the women that I have loved uh, in my life. Um, and besides my mother, um, I have loved three other women. Uh, <clears throat> the first one uh, is Jay, and that's the, in, the, the initial for her first name. And I was kind of young, I was 17, dated about a year. And, um, you know, we were just too young. Second person I dated was, uh, that I loved um, started with a K. And uh, that was my, the love of my life. And unfortunately, uh, both her and I, we had uh, personal issues. Uh, mainly, um, she had uh, more uh, emotional issues. And I was a little bit immature at the time to be able to really consider a more, a more a serious relationship. And the third one was um, when I was in college. We'll call her by the initial B. Uh, and I honestly thought I, I was going to marry her, but unfortunately, um, her parents, because she was white, did not like the fact that I was, you know, um, a different race. And also that I was a hardcore Democrat, not a liberal, a Democrat. Um, so that uh, kind of, you know, uh, interrupted that relationship, unfortunately. But uh, now that I w now that I think about back on the women that I have loved and why it has been some time since I have loved another woman, uh, it's mainly because of two reasons. Number one is, and, and this is hard for me to talk about, but I, I feel that I need to talk about it because uh, it helps me vent off, uh, was because when my mom died, a huge part of me died. And, um, and you would think, you know, that when that happens, a person or a man would want to find, you know, somebody to fulfill or be able to, you know, um, get somebody to help them with their or, or aid them with their with their love but uh, for me it unfortunately didn't work that way it's just it was a hard blow um, the second issue is I really 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 fell for this particular girl last year and, um, and it was wonderful like it hadn't been in many many years and unfortunately she destroyed my heart and at 29, um, most of my friends, my best friends are married. Um, at 29, I found that very, very, very hard to overcome till this day. And that was about eight months ago. And uh, I've dated a, a couple girls here and there. And I know I've met a couple, you know, pretty, pretty good girls. And, um, <clears throat> and it's like, I feel kind of incarcerated in my own uh, being because it's like I have a fortress around my heart and uh, to some of you that might sound a little bit silly but you know it is true and uh, it's it's hard for me to be able to open up pretty easy because of what happened with the last person now um, deep down inside everybody eagers to be loved by somebody and everybody eagers to love somebody because God is love and he made us lo loving beings and um, not being able to open up with somebody who cares about me uh, even though I don't show it it really uh, hurts me um, but I am working really really hard on that issue I'm trying to correct that and uh, hopefully one of these days, you know, when it's not too late, uh, I'll be able to uh, get over my own personal issues, uh, emotional issues. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, all right.